Good day, students. I'm Mark Mendoza. You can call me Sir M. Let's mark up your math skills today. For today's video, we'll be discussing limit loss. In the previous videos, you've learned how to get the limit of a function using table of values and graphically. For this video, we will apply an analytic approach to compute for the limit of a function, and that is through the use of limit loss. But how many limit loss do we have? We actually have around 11 limit loss. But for this video, we will be focusing more on the first five limit loss. The first two limit loss are called special limits or basic limits. The first law is the limit of a constant, and it states that the limit of a constant c as x approaches a is the constant c itself. Now, let me give you an example. The limit of 6 as x approaches 2 is 6. Let me illustrate this example by using table of values and the graph of the constant f of x is equal to 6. Looking at the table on the left and the horizontal line graph on the right, we can clearly see that the function values approach the given constant 6 at any x value, meaning if x is equal to 1, f of x would be equivalent to 6. If x is 1.5, f of x is 6. If x is 1.9, f of x is 6, and so on. This is always true as x approaches any number because the outputs never change. It is constant. So let me state again the first law. It's the limit of a constant as x approaches any number a is a constant itself. Let's have more examples. The limit of 5 as x approaches 1 is equal to 5, and the limit of negative 3 as x approaches 6 is equal to negative 3. The second limit law states that the limit of x as x approaches a number a is equivalent to a. Let me illustrate this by using table of values and the graph of the identity function. Looking at the graph of f of x is equal to x on the right and the table of values on the left, it clearly shows that the x and the y coordinates are always the same or identical. Therefore, it follows that if x approaches 0, then y also approaches 0. If x approaches 100, then y also approaches 100. To further explain the second limit law, let's have additional examples. The limit of x as x approaches 2 is equal to 2. The limit of x as x approaches negative 1 is equal to negative 1. The limit of x as x approaches 1 half is equal to 1 half. For the remaining limit loss, you can also try to verify the examples by using the table of values in decimals. The third limit loss is what you call the constant multiple law. It states that the limit of a constant times a function is equal to the constant times the limit of that given function. Now let's have examples. Example number one, let's find the limit of the function 5x as x approaches 2. As you can see, we can move the constant 5 before we write the limit or before we write LIM. Evaluating further the limit of 2 as x approaches 2 using special limits, we can get 2. And multiplying 2 to 5, we can get 10. Therefore, the limit of 5x as x approaches 2 is equivalent to 10. Let's have another example. Let's find the limit of 4x as x approaches negative 1. Following the same procedure that we did in the first example, we can put 4 or the constant 4 before we write down the limit of x as x approaches negative 1. Evaluating the limit of x as x approaches negative 1 using special limits, we can get negative 1. And multiplying negative 1 and 4, we can get negative 4 as the limit of 4x as x approaches negative 1. The next two limits will allow you to separate each term, get each of their limits, and combine the limits afterwards. You may also apply these limits whenever you're given a function with multiple terms. Limit law number four states that the limit of a sum is equal to the sum of the limits. This law states that the limit of f of x plus g of x as x approaches a is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches a plus the limit of g of x as x approaches a. Now let us have an example. Let us find the limit of x plus 4 as x approaches 2. We can rewrite the given into the limit of x as x approaches 2 plus the limit of 4 as x approaches 2. 
applying special limits, we can get 2 for the limit of x as x approaches 2, and 4 for the limit of 4 as x approaches 2. Adding 2 and 4, we can get the limit of x plus 4 as x approaches 2, which is equal to 6. The fifth limit law states that the limit of a difference is equal to the difference of the limits. This law states that the limit of f of x minus g of x as x approaches a is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches a minus the limit of g of x as x approaches a. To further explain this limit, let us have an example. Let's find the limit of x minus 4 as x approaches 3. Rewriting this limit, we have the limit of x as x approaches 3 minus the limit of 4 as x approaches 3. And evaluating this limit separately using special limits, we have 3 for the limit of x as x approaches 3 minus 4 for the limit of 4 as x approaches 3. Simplifying further, we have 3 minus 4 which is equivalent to negative 1. Therefore, the limit of the function x minus 4 as x approaches 3 is equal to negative 1. And that's it. That is the first part of our discussion of limit loss. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something today. Watch out for the second part of our discussion of limit loss.